In this project, we will learn how to connect a four-digit seven-segment display in a circuit. In addition to wiring the circuit, we will of course learn how to control the display in code. This is building up to our stopwatch project and will utilize the four-digit seven-segment display. After completing the circuit, a user will be asked to enter a four-digit number and then it should be correctly displayed on the seven-segment display. There is quite a bit of wiring in this circuit, but it is great to understand how to interface with the four-digit display. In the next lesson, we will be using a shift register, which can be used to reduce the number of Arduino pins we need to control circuit components. Let's take a look at the objectives. By successfully completing this project, we will have mastered the following items. You will understand how to connect a four-digit seven-segment display in a circuit, and you will also understand how to communicate with that display in code. If you are ready to begin, let's get this project started. Here are the parts we will need. An Arduino Uno, a USB cable, a breadboard, a four-digit seven-segment display. We will be using a common anode display but uh, you can also use a common cathode display, seven 220 ohm resistors, and connecting wires. Let's first address some details about our four-digit display. We will be using a common anode display, and if you have a common cathode version, just remember that the polarity will be different to the wired configuration we will discuss. Our display has 12 pins. When the display is held with the decimal points at the bottom right, the bottom leftmost pin is pin 1. Then we go to pin 2, 3, and so on to pin 6. Then we continue at the top with pin 7, 8, all the way to pin 12. Since we are dealing with a common anode display, to light a particular segment, the common pin must be made high. The corresponding segment pin must be made low for that particular segment to light. In that way, current can flow through the common anode, down through the LED, to ground, causing the segment pin to light up. To turn on digits 1, 2, 3, and 4, Pins 12, 9, 8, and 6 must be high, respectively. The diagram at the right shows us which pins are associated with which segments on the 7-segment display. Pin 1 corresponds to segment E, pin 2 to segment D, and so on. This is also illustrated in the diagram below. Let's take a look at the circuit diagram. As you can see, there's quite a lot of wiring involved. One approach is to connect all your resistors on the left-hand side of the circuit. So these are the 7 to 20 ohm resistors. To make things a little easier, I've attached these cheat sheets on the right of the circuit diagram. Here, you'll be able to see the Arduino pins, 2 through 8, and you'll be able to see which corresponding pin on the 7 segment display that they need to be connected to. So pin 2 on the Arduino, which goes to our first resistor, is connected to pin 11 on the 7 segment display. So by following along this chart, you'll be able to see uh, the corresponding Arduino to resistor connections and then the connections to the 7 segment displays. There are four connections which, which go to the Arduino that do not connect directly with the resistors and these are to turn the individual digits on and on. So pins 10, 11, 12, and 13 all connect to pins 12, 9, 8, and 6 on the seven segment display. There's also a handy reference below which shows the corresponding pins and which segments they pertain to on the seven segment display. One thing to note about the seven segment display is how we get individual digits to show up is that we turn or we make high these particular pins on the 
seven segment display. So when we turn pin 12 high, that would light digit one. When we turn pin nine high, that would light digit two and so forth. What we essentially do is we cycle through these to display all four digits. For instance, pin 12 high and the others are low. So we show this particular digit. Then we turn this one off. We turn on the second digit and so forth. We do this so quickly that the eye cannot detect that a particular LED is off. So it looks like all of the four digits are on continuously. The approach and how we light the four digits will be made more clearer when we take a look at the code. All right, let's wire up our circuit. First, we'll connect the seven to 20 ohm resistors. I'll just connect them in a row here. Okay, there are the seven resistors. Now let's start connecting the resistors to the Arduino and the seven segment display. So here is our seven segment display. As you can see, there are six pins. We have six pins below, pins one to six, and then at the top, pins seven to 12. So when you connect this, Gently push it in again because we want to be able to see where the pins are. And when we have completed the circuit, we can push it in all the way. All right, so first from pin two on the Arduino, we're going to go to the first resistor. The other end of that resistor goes to pin 11 on the seven segment. Next, pin three on the Arduino goes to our resistor. The other end goes to pin seven. Next pin four from your Arduino goes to our resistor. The other end goes to pin four. Pin five on the Arduino. Goes to our next resistor. That goes to pin two. Next, pin six on the Arduino. Goes to the other resistor. And that goes to pin one. Pin seven on the Arduino goes to our next resistor and that goes to pin 10 on the display. Then we have pin 
8. On the Arduino going to our last resistor. The other end of that goes to pin 5 on the display. Okay, with that being done, now we have uh, the last four Arduino pins, pin 10. It's going to go to pin 12 on our display. Pin 11. Going to go to pin 9 on our display. Pin 12 on our Arduino is going to go to pin 8 on our display. And then finally, pin 13 on the Arduino is going to go to pin 6. All right, so that completes the wiring. As you can see, it's quite a lot of wiring, and only one pin is not being used on the display. Uh, that's pin 3, and that's the decimal point. But um, this completes the wiring for our circuit. Okay, let's go ahead and upload the code for our project. And while that's uploading, I will open the serial monitor. Right, so here you'll see the instructions, you know, enter a number between zero and nine, 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 nine. So let me enter one, two, three, four as an example. Okay. And there you have it, it's showing up on our Seven segment LED display. Uh, I'll just enter another number uh, 56, 79, all right, 18, 24. All right, so there you have it. As you can see, our uh, seven segment is working and we're able to correctly take a four digit number from the input and display that on the seven segment display. Okay, let's take a look at the code for our four digit seven segment display. So initially we have the segment pins, you've seen this before. These are the pins from the Arduino that go towards those uh, resistors for the seven segments. So we have seven of them. Then we have the display pins. This would be different than on our first single digit seven segment display circuit as we have four pins that are needed to toggle those individual digits on and off. As you remember from our circuit diagram, to turn on digit one, we need to write to that pin 12 on the seven segment display and turn that high. Uh, similarly, to turn on digit two, we need to write to pin nine. Digit three is pin eight, and digit four is pin six. So that's why we need four of these uh, connections from the Arduino to specify which digits we're turning on and off. Continuing on, we have a couple of global variables uh, for that we use to keep track of the numbers that we're displaying, num1 through num4. Then you've seen this before, this is the uh, LED mappings for our numbers. So to get a zero to be displayed, segments A, B, C, D, E, and F have to be lit. Hence, these are all ones and so forth. In our setup function, initially we uh, set up the seven segment pins as output. So we do a loop between zero and seven, setting these pins as output. And the four pins that we're using for toggling the LEDs, we set these as outputs initially as well. Next, to turn off the seven segment display, we write to these four pins low, uh, so they will not be shown initially. 
We then begin our serial communication and initialize our number variables to zero. Then we write to the serial monitor, enter a number between zero and 9999. So that's what you'll see showing up in the serial monitor. And that is our setup. Now let's delve into the loop function. So initially we've seen this before where we wait for the user to send an input. And if input has come in, and we do this by checking if serial.available, this will return true, we proceed to read the string that was entered from the input. So this is going to read the entire string into our input variable. And to extract each of the individual digits, we do the character at zero will give us the first digit, character at one will give us the second digit and so forth. Then we convert these to integers by doing the handy trick where we subtract the zero character and that's going to convert the inputs to actual numeric values for us. Once that's done, we call our update display convenience function and pass in those individual digits. So here is our update display. Initially, if to show the first digit, we would set that first display pin high and the others would be low. So remember, this display pin controls only the first digit and we need to enable it high for our common anode display to get that to show up. So we set that high, turning on only the first display, and we call the set segments passing in the digit one that we want to show up for digit one. To show the second digit, we do the same in that we turn off the first digit, we enable the second digit, and then we call set segments passing in digit two. Notice in between here, there is a very short delay. And uh, you know, so essentially we are showing the first digit for a small fraction of a second, then we show the second digit for a small fraction of a second, the third and the fourth. But this is happening so fast that the eye cannot perceive the difference in the LEDs or the segments being on and off. That is why it appears as if it's one continuous number that's continuously on. In our set segments function, we loop over the segment pins and do a digital write turning the appropriate segments on and off as needed to light those particular segments. And that's it. Very simple, straightforward program that allows us to control our four digit seven segment display. To summarize, in this project, you learned how to connect a four digit seven segment display in a circuit, and we learned how to control it using code. In part two of this project, we will introduce a shift register so you will learn how this can be used to reduce the number of Arduino pins needed to communicate with circuit peripherals. I will see you in the next project.